Hi everyone, Jeff Jones here, and today we're diving into the future of streaming as we enter 2026. This year, upcoming year, is shaping up to be the year of artificial intelligence, or AI, some personalization and some unified content as they all come together on our Android devices. And today, we're just going to take a, a, a small look at how that can uh, benefit you and benefit me and the consumers that are falling in love with streaming. So let's get into it. Hey, thanks again for tuning in as we closed out Christmas. My name is Jeff. I'm from The Stream Machines, where we take the difficult things of streaming and help you with them one video at a time. If this video uh, that you tuned into is helpful, please share it with someone that you care about oh, and, and subscribe to the channel and even give me a thumbs up as I really appreciate as we're trying to continue to build this channel organically. So AI is more than chat GPT. It is bigger than I've ever seen and it keeps growing at a rapid pace. But AI upscaling is probably something new. Um, if you know, you know, and we should know because many of the Android devices today are running AI upscaling on their devices. So the first thing is what is AI upscaling? And for dummies, I need it for me, I need to dumb it down. But AI upscaling, according to Google, is like giving blurry, giving a blurry or small pictures or videos a magic makeover. So instead of stretching pixels and making them fuzzy, artificial intelligence or AI analyzes the content, guesses what's missing, whether it be details and textures and creates new pixels to make the image or video look much sharper clearer and more detailed now when it comes to streaming what does that mean so think of it as an internal smart enhancement over layers sharper details smoother motion um, colors are even more rich this is a perfect tool for people who watch older content, my age, sports, or anything that benefits from clarity. It's one of those apps that you need to have and get instant results if you use it. Now, in an Android device like this, this is the Yoka TV IPX3. Um, the majority where the AI upscaler is, is in in the details of the processor. So it's in the details of the processor and all of the apps or all of the, the devices that have it, from what I understand is like the Shoka, Formula definitely has it. Um, even the On 4K and the On 4K Plus, they have it. The Formula GTV definitely has it. Um, also, I think the NVIDIA Shield now has it. So some of the top brands of media devices, maybe that I know, and even some unknown ones, if they're going into 2026, it's a pretty safe bet that an AI upscaler should show up in the processor of each media device as it does on this Yoka. So let's take a look at what that means for you as a all right, as we take a look at what the Upscaler does, there are some free applications or websites that you can get this for free. I'm gonna show you one. I, I think I preloaded it in the browser here in my history. It's called Upscaler, and I was already on this, so I'm gonna go to my history, and I'm gonna go to Upscale right here. And I'll put the link in this description. This is something that you can put on your phones, on your laptop and whatnot. This is actually can be used for free. And if you look at the, the picture quality, um, come on, get over here. From the left to the right, the, I've seen these pictures on formula devices when they're trying to sell them. I've seen this example on different boxes that you might purchase. I don't know if it's on the, the, like the VCs or whatnot because those aren't really made or super boxes aren't made 
for the quality that the you know the on 4k plus or the on 4k or the formula or this yoka is um they're already pre-done but you can look at the differences on the picture on the left to the right and that is an upscale this makes supercharging your images with ai you can see what it looks like on the left versus the right now how that pans out for you as we go into a yoka tv ipx3 this is their top model they gave to me for free i'm going to show you by going to youtube how this could benefit you so i'm going to go into my account on youtube and let it open up and then i'm gonna go up here and i'm gonna no first i'm gonna go to movies and tv press ok and then i'm gonna go up here and night of the living dead Now we're going to look at the Night of the Living Dead, not in the 2000s, but the one in 1968. This is when the this is when the Night of the Living Dead came out in 1968, and I want to show you by playing this free public domain video or movie because it's public domain. It's absolutely free to play on YouTube. How this plays out for those that have the AI upscaling ability in their processor. So I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna press this right here and let me turn this down if it's up. And you can see right now that this is supposed to be in black and white, but it, it looks like it's in color, okay? So it's already trying to change things and, and make them better. It took it out of black and white and made it in color. Now. I like the fact that it did it, and George Romero was uh, big in 1968 and beyond. This is how old and how good it does when you have an older content like this and you have the, eight, the AI upscaling ability in the app. So I'm going to show it also in the black and white and see if it makes it a little bit better. So I'm going to go over to the left here, and I'm going to press OK to open this up, and we're going to play the movie right now. And this is the one that you can get free on YouTube because it has ads. Um, and many people just sleep on YouTube. YouTube is a great place to get free movies. I mean, if you don't know, you should know. They have plenty of good stuff. So we're going to skip. And now you can see this is what the original looked like from 1968. It's complete black and white. It's not in color. But still, it looks very, very clear for a you know, a movie that's been <laughs> 40, 50 years old. I mean, it's, it's, it's been a while and it's, it's a long standing classic. If you haven't seen it, I would look it up. This is the benefit of what they call AI upscaling. It takes what old content, older content and makes it better. It fills in what's missing, the details that are missing. And I'm hoping that just makes it very, very, uh, explainable or clear that we just want this on our devices now as we go into the next part of the video you might be asking so how do I get this to work for me what do I need to do to make this work for me and I'm just gonna say it, it, it it's already inside the majority of the media devices so you can always if you have a media device I would just Google it and ask if it has AI upscaling ability and if it says no maybe you look into some other devices that do have that because we want to make sure your devices are built for future proofing what does that phrase mean it means it's built for now and in the future so you're not always having to buy the hardware each and every year especially if, if it's been set up for future proofing all right that is the main thing that the ai upscaler does in those devices it is normally set for future proofing where you can have it three four and five years and it'll run at an exceptional rate now one of the things we want to also point out 
is there are plenty of fake apps out there. So be careful on what you sideload. Do your research and just make sure that if you're using it on different devices, that you're getting something directly from a website directly and not some APK that's being sideloaded over the Internet. Just be very careful for malware. All right, because we are going into 2026. So what does this mean for you? Why is this so important? I think it's important because I like media devices that last. I don't want a media device that's just going to be around for one year and then all of a sudden I have to buy another device because it's not I didn't do my homework and I didn't I didn't select a device that's going to be set up for future proofing. So, I wanted to make this quick video to thank you guys for tuning in and I'm hoping that this video starts up some conversations. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, below uh, the video what device you're using and if it has that ability in it and let me know what you think uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in i want to wish you guys a i guess want to say merry christmas but also a happy new year stay safe and we'll